Today I've got my Polymer 80 build, put this together last night, and we're just going to do a couple function tests, make sure it's working reliably, and see if there's anything we need to uh, iron out back in the garage. So, got five rounds, let's just see if it's able to run this consistently, only about five yards away. I was shooting low. This is a factory uh, factory OEM Gen 3 Glock 19 slide. Um, those are the other four shots. All right, let's keep the test running. Next, we're gonna do a light, light build drill. All right, so now that we've confirmed it's cycling and firing properly, um, none of the components seem loose. Did a little quick inspection here. Let's see how it holds up to some rapid fire. All clear. All right, so I have 10 rounds. Let's just, let's go ahead and dump all 10. some one-handed headshots. Let's see what I can do here. If anything, there might be a failure here because of limp wristing, but let's see how it holds up. Huh. Only one round. Looks like I clipped the top of the dome. Nice. All right, so far so good. P80 is about 20 rounds in. Let's, uh, let's see how it shoots at distance. Nothing looks off with this. So far, so good. All right, since, since ammo is expensive, we're just gonna run another five rounds left. No failure so far. Looking good, silky smooth. Headshots about seven yards. So with these P80 builds, a lot of people um, have complaints about them, but like it's not the P80 build itself or the OEM parts. Sometimes if you're using aftermarket third-party slides, barrels, et cetera, you may have some problems, but the weakest point when building a P80 is you, the person who's building it. So like you, you, there are certain steps you have to follow and um, be able to take your time. I think taking your time is probably what's gonna help you most get a successful P80 build. Forgot how many rounds I put in there at first. Flawless. Enemy. <laughs> 